S210E. It's 110 volts, 20 amp max. It's 210 millimeters wide for the blast width, which is an 8 inch blast pattern. We'll use the S330 shot, and what we'll do first is we'll put some on the floor and we'll kind of spread it around. And what we'll do is we'll prime the magnets with this. We'll get our magnets lined up with the shot. Because on a brand new machine, before you use it, all the magnets will have nothing on it. We'll want to have a barrier of shot between the magnets and the floor, which kind of creates the suction so you don't lose a bunch of shot getting blasted all over the place. So once we get them good and put it in place, we'll open up our hopper. And we'll fill the hopper up to the screen. You can pull the screen tray out and this will kind of catch any large debris or rocks or anything like that when you're blasting so it doesn't let that go through the blast wheel. And also so then you can kind of reuse some of your old shot from before. It will kind of filter it out before it goes into the machine. Close the hopper. Clamp it down. We'll hook up our dust hose here. We'll go ahead and adjust our handle height. The handle can be adjusted for whatever the operator's length, preferred height. Alright, now we are ready to blast. We'll turn on the vacuum and then we'll cover the switches. Now on the, uh, the S210E is pretty simple. You have your main switch. This powers the motor and it also covers the blast. So the further you pull, the more blast you pull. Just a little bit engages the motor. And then when you pull harder, it will release the shot. You have an emergency stop switch here, which just kills the motor. And then you have an amp gauge, so you can see basically how many amps you're pulling when you're blasting. It's really between 15 and 20 amps is where we blast. With the S210, you'll kind of want to always kind of keep it maxed, and then you can kind of control your profile by the speed that you travel. Walking slower gives it a deeper profile. Walking quicker will be a lighter profile. Blasting, you never want to sit in one place too long, which will dig a hole, which we'll demonstrate right here. video but you can see how much deeper it is right there than what it is right here when we were actually traveling. So the proper way when we go ahead and start a blaster is basically once we start blasting you want to start walking as soon as you start blasting. So we'll engage the motor first and then as we pull the shot lever we'll start moving forward. for a second, you just kind of keep walking to pick up the shot you left. And then to do your next pass, you'll just come turn around, swing it, the front wheels make that really easily to be able to maneuver. Having this design with the single front swivel wheels up front helps you turn and rotate the machine a whole lot easier. Because then you can overlap, what you want to do is when you start your next pass, you want to overlap your last pass the width of the back so you kind of don't have a separation in between of the concrete. So we'll go down this next line. Now when you're operating one of like the S210s or really any of our shot blasters, you never want to tip back on the handle while the machine is in operation. A bunch of shot will fly everywhere. So the best thing is to keep this 
down on the ground to create the seal between the ground. Because what's happening is as the shot will kind of go from the blast wheel down, hit the ground, and come up the rebound and back into the hopper. And that's kind of how the shot gets recirculated and the dust and the shot gets separated right here and the dust goes up as the shot falls back down and gets reused. Also, how do you adjust the, the blast pattern if it's heavy on one side from left to right? You adjust that with your control cage here. Here's the control cage, controls the shot. You have a notch here and a notch about right here. A good starting point on these is right at about 8.30 and 10.30 if you were like using it as a clock. Now to adjust that, you just loosen one nut here and the nut right here and you can rotate down. Basically if it is like heavy on the left and you need to get it more to like the right, you'd basically turn it up slightly or opposite, you go down and then you can lock it back in place. Now the, the S210s, a couple, a couple of the main spare parts you'd want is the blast wheel and the liners. Those are your main consumables. The blast wheel we recommend to check and change about every 50 hours and the liners you check them every 100 hours to be every other blast wheel change. It's a good idea to look at all your liners to inspect them good for any unusual wear because it's just going to protect the blaster.